live in Canada. Live from the maple syrup capital of the world. Bacon, maple bacon capital. What? Hey everybody, Landon here from Lando 27 Music. And today I've been meaning to do this for a little while. It's uh, a demo and review of the PV Bandit 112. So again, thanks to Shane from In The Blues, uh, the YouTube channel In The Blues. Uh, check out his channel. He's got a number of videos of the Bandit 112. This is how I discovered the amp, just by watching some of his videos. So the one that I'm looking at is a 2004 model made in the US and they refer to it as a red stripe. That wasn't an actual manufacturer's term, but it has a red line along the bottom. And I think this one looks pretty cool compared to the ones that are out today. I don't really, I don't really dig the the uh, the current Bandit 112s. I don't know. They just they don't they don't do it for me. Maybe they sound good. I don't I don't think it's the same parts. I don't think it's the same kind of speaker. Anyways, enough about that. It's a solid state amp. They have they have uh, something called a trans tube series, which is they still do it today and they kind of claim it it's similar to a tube amp it, you can't really get the same kind of breakups that you do with the tube the crazy thing about this is you can find these online for cheap i got this one for 150 bucks it was i bought it from a guy it wasn't being used for about five years and it wasn't actually working either so i had to fix a part of it and it was missing the reverb tank i've done a couple of videos on that adding a reverb tank and fixing the uh the preamp and the power amp and the preamp section there was a, a burnout in the wiring so I had to fix that if you're not a huge tube amp snob like if you're, you're okay with just trying out cool cheap amps this thing is massive I'm gonna take some pictures I'll show you a side-by-side -side how big it is compared to my AC 15 it's actually a lot heavier than I thought it would be it's a it's a 1 by 12 it's got to be at least 55 pounds it's pretty heavy but because it was so cheap, it's perfect. Just take it to a, an open jam or something. Don't really worry about it. It's super easy to set up. And like I did with the AC-15, I'm just gonna go from left to right and go through all the settings and do a few demos of, of all the different tones you can get from this. I know Shane in his channel, he's mentioned he's typically stayed on the cleans, but he did discover some, some lead sounds that he did like when you crank it, I believe. Yeah, you can get some pretty high gain out of this i don't think it's something i'd use i'm more into a rock blues kind of sound but anyway so let's go ahead let's take a look at the pv bandit 112 red stripe 2004 edition let's go ahead here like other solid state amps you pop it on and it's automatically ready to go there's no warming up the tubes or anything like that okay so clean uh, i've got the volume just up a little bit there's two channels. There's a vintage and a modern. I'll show you a little bit about that. The modern basically ends, adds the modern. Uh, 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 the modern adds some low end, more low end to it. On the master side, I'm gonna keep the reverb off for now. Presence. That is basically a tone. It adds a little bit. As you turn it up, it adds more high end. Um, there is a resonance, which is they say loose and tight and to me the loose adds more of a, a tank tankier kind of sound is that even a term tankier <laughs> tankier tight is what i'm going to stick to because it just sounds crisp the loose sounds loose so it's a good description and the last part the t dynamics that is actually power you can push to the amp so you can actually get a louder sound so let's just go i'm in the neck pickup here let's actually for the rest of the demo and I'm also in the high input I didn't mention that the high gain input so and with that I'm gonna keep the presence up hopefully that comes across it's more sparkly has a nicer sound to it uh, the reverb tank I'm going to just give it a little touch of reverb. This is the reverb tank. I did another video on it. It's a 16 inch two spring and it's pretty, pretty good. So it's an actual reverb tank. It's not a digital. Maybe I'll tone that down a little. 
little bit. Anyways, let's go, um, so let's do a little uh, strumming through the vintage here. And a comparison of the modern. the clean I'm just gonna stick to stick to the vintage September in Ottawa, Canada, 38 Celsius outside. It's like 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, I mentioned, so that's good for the Queen. I think that's a good demo for the Queen. Interesting thing on this, the lead has three different kinds of lead. It's got a vintage, a modern. Oh, I can't do that. I got to talk near the mic. Hello. Okay, it's got a vintage, a modern, and a high gain. So let's start off with... The, the vintage sound. I'm gonna keep the pre-gain pretty cranked and I'm gonna play through the humbuckers. <laughs> Okay, so that's the vintage. I'm gonna roll back. So that's the vintage. I'm gonna roll back the pre-gain and bring it up for the modern. I can already hear it hissing like a snake. It's ready to attack. Here we go. <laughs> Perfect use for the kill switch that I did. What am I saying? Okay, uh, back down to half. Wow, it's some, um, for a modern, for a modern, I don't know. I'm not, you know what, I'm not into the metal sound, so, so let me know if that sounds good. I don't know. And that's not even the high gain. We're about to kick it into high gain here. I'm going to roll it back a lot. Oh, now it just sounds like, kind of sounds like water running 
and a vacuum cleaner going without the sound on. So let's check this out. Too much. Go talk when I'm close to the mic. Why can't I do that? September. September in Canada. You think there'd be snow and you think I'd be out ice fishing? and uh, drinking moose and catching maple syrup, stuff like that. Uh, no, I can't do that, it's too hot out. Anyways, uh, okay, yeah, PV Bandit 112, Red Stripe 2004, made in the USA. I'm talking a bit faster now, but it's just because I'm pumped, I get pumped when I play. Once again, shout out to Shane in the blues. Check out his channel, honestly, he's the leader. He's the leader of all this stuff. Yeah, check out his channel, he's got a number of PV Bandit 112, Red Stripe videos. And he's actually, I think he's encouraged a number of people to actually go out and find them. And I've heard people have, uh, everybody that I've heard that has found this amp has usually paid between 100 to $200 and they love it. Tube amp snobs, go check it out. It's worth it. Seriously, you got the money. 200 bucks, it's nothing. Okay, yeah, that's it for today. Before I explode of heat, that's not even a thing. Explode of heat. Check out my other videos as usual. Please like and subscribe. You know what, there was, there was one other thing I wanted to say about this amp, what was it? Um, yeah, I can't remember. Um, shoot, what was it? There was one really important thing. I'll post the, the, um, the links to the other videos that are related to this amp. I've done a couple other ones. Um, shoot, what was it? Anyways, I, I'll figure it out. Yeah, Lano here from Lano27 Music. All right, the point of all these videos is to play guitar and have fun. Oh yeah, I remember what it was. <laughs>